And we're gonna work on the spread for our peach burgers. So right here I have a third cup of peach preserves. A little less than a tablespoon of coarse ground Dijon mustard. You can use regular Dijon mustard if you want. And then I also have a half a cup of mayo. And we're going to mix all this together. what it looks like and then now we're going to add a tiny bit just a pinch of parsley just because I had it left over from chopping it for the burgers so I'm just going to add it in here and just like that our mayo is done I'm going to cover this and stick it in the fridge until our burgers are ready to go now to top my burgers, I have crispy caramelized onions, and they're caramelized onion flavored. I have butter lettuce. Everybody else is going to be using bread. I'll use the butter lettuce. They'll just put lettuce on the bread. And I also have red onions. Although we have the crunch of the crispy caramelized ones, I think this is going to be really good to go with it. So that is what we're putting on our burgers. We have tomatoes in the fridge for whoever wants tomatoes. I don't think they're going to, I'm going to like them. So I'm just going to stick with these four toppings on my burgers slash my bun. And let's get on to the turkey burgers. All right. So these turkey burgers are going to have to sit at a certain stage. So for this recipe, you're going to need three pounds of ground turkey, salt and pepper to taste, a half a teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning, one small onion, I wanna say I have about a half a cup of, three quarters of a cup of onion and four cloves of garlic minced, one third cup of fresh parsley. In here I have my mustard and my wish to share. I have three tablespoon teaspoons of mustard and about an eighth of a cup of Worcestershire sauce. You're going to need a quarter cup of olive oil, which is right here, and a half a cup of peach preserves. So let's get started. We're going to start on my stove. So let me bring you over there. All right. So my heat is on about a medium low heat and I have my pan here. I'm going to add my quarter cup of olive oil and we're going to heat that through. I know it looks like a lot of olive oil, but at the same time, you guys, turkey burger does not turkey, ground turkey does not have a lot of fat. So, and now we're going to add our onion and our garlic. And we're going to stir this and cook these onions just until they're translucent and the garlic is fragrant. Then we're going to set aside with all the olive oil that is left in the pan. And I'll tell you why in the next step. All right, so in my pan, I have my quarter cup of olive oil, my onions, and my garlic. And I'm just sauteing them till my onions are fully translucent and my garlic is fragrant, which I'm almost there. Then I'm going to put them in this bowl and set them aside with all the oil that is in here. Turkey is lean and we're going to need all that fat to help our burgers not stick. Alrighty, now we're going to go back to my counter and I'll show you the next couple steps. Alright, now that my onions and garlic are cooked with my oil, I'm going to break up my turkey with the fork. Now you're going to want to do this with a fork so you do not over mix your turkey. 
So I'm just breaking it up right this second, giving it a little bit of air. Hopefully you guys can see that. We're going to add our parsley. And mix to combined. Again, using a fork so you don't over mix. Normally I would use my hands for this, but it's tricky and I don't want to over mix it. So, we're going to add our salt, pepper. I have three teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, and a half a teaspoon of Old Bay. This is what I'm going to start with. And again, mix to combine with the fork. And now, my peach jam. And also my Worcestershire and Dijon mustard. And again, mix to fully combined. There's chunks of peaches in the peach preserve, and I think that that's going to be so good in the burgers. All right, and now I have my onions, garlic, and leftover olive oil that I'm going to add. And you're also using a fork to keep your turkey tender and not tough. Because turkey, if you over mix it, it can get tough. So now I'm going to take this mixture, now that it's all mixed together, and I'm going to eight burgers. So I'm going to separate this in eight. And you know what? The easiest way is going to be straight on my counter. Make sure all of it's mixed together. And see if you just put it on your counter. I mean, some people are going to be like, ew, gross, but nothing antibacterial wipes and soap ain't going to fix. So now, I'm going to take this mixture right here. I'm going to cut it into four with just with my hands, and then cut these four patties into two. Okay, this is super wet. Alright you guys, I'm sitting here making my burger and totally forgot to film it. So. I have lettuce, my burger, and then the mayonnaise that I did earlier in the video. And I added a little bit of cayenne pepper to mine because I like it spicy. And then I'm going to add a few red onions and then a little bit of the crunchy fried onions, the crunchy fried caramelized onions, right on top.
And then I just take my other bun, my other bun, my other lettuce, and I put it right on top. And there you go, you guys. And we're having this with squash zucchini au gratin. You guys could do this with fries. You guys could do this with fried zucchini. Whatever you guys want. Today, this is just what I made. For my husband, he has a Hawaiian toasted bun. I'm going to add a tiny bit of peach preserves to his bun. His burger. And then crunchy fried onions. He's super plain and don't like a whole lot. So that is my husband's burger. And I'll see you guys next time in a new video.